discovery of gold in Melbourne in, or in Victoria in the middle of the 19th century, around 1850, led to a huge influx of all kinds of people, adventurers, professional gold fossickers, and two artists, amongst others, also joined the gold rush, including Eugene von Gerard, who is probably the best known painter of that period, as well as Henry Gritton. Gritton and Eugene von Gerard operate almost as parallel lives because they both came to Melbourne in about the same period, about 1852, and both went straight to Bendigo and both were disappointed by what they found there and both came to Melbourne in the, 19, in the 1860s both Gritton and uh, Eugene von Gerard were living and working in Melbourne, acting as uh, uh, working as painters, uh, as artists. So, of course, Melbourne at that time was one of the most prosperous cities on earth, and uh, the gold was producing un incredible amounts of wealth and sudden wealth. And the artists who came to Melbourne at that time were hoping that uh, the patronage of arts would benefit from the gold. In the 1860s, Gritton took part in uh, awards and exhibitions as they became available and was involved in the founding of the Victorian Artist Society. So he became a member of the early days of the Melbourne Art Establishment. In 1865, he painted the Botanic Gardens. The Botanic Gardens in Melbourne at the time were still relatively new. They were founded in 1848. Uh, in 1852, Baron Ferdinand von Müller, at that time just Ferdinand Müller, became the director, a scientist born in Germany and uh, a, a botanist. He founded the Botanic Gardens and during the 1860s and the early 1870s, he became the leading light as the Botanic Gardens expanded and grew. And they became, uh, they were highly successful. The gardens were one of the, uh, were intended to be one of the great features of Melbourne life. So the painting we're offering, which is a very fine example of early Australian painting and an important uh, painting of this period from 1865, uh, was depicted, depicts the Botanic Gardens or a view from the Botanic Gardens towards Melbourne. And so through the clearing in the trees, uh, we can see Melbourne, and it's very clearly represented. You can actually make out a number of Melbourne uh, sky, um, uh, Melbourne uh, landmarks, which are still present. The individual buildings can be can be identified. Um, the gardens themselves were still in a state of development. Uh, and many of the trees that were grown at the time were put there for scientific and research purposes, and it was only later that the the gardens became. Um, more interesting and engaging for aesthetic purposes. So, and yet the painting, uh, the painting indicates that the gardens were used for pleasure and we see some figures, uh, a couple of women enjoying their leisure with their children, giving their children a, an outing in the park. Gritton painted a number of views of the Bot Botanic Gardens, one of which was acquired by Robert Hoddle, the man who surveyed and laid out the city of Melbourne. Uh, the painting from 1865 is probably the one that was exhibited in the Victorian Art Society first exhibition. It's a particular pleasure for us to be able to exhibit this painting at Stonington, which is a historic house from the same era as the painting. It belongs to that gold rush boom period of Melbourne history. We'll be offering it for sale on the 20th of March at the Menzies Auction in Melbourne. The estimates of the painting are $120,000 to $160,000. I look forward to seeing you at the auction.